Welcome to part 7 everyone, and this is Metallic Madness. Metallic Madness is pretty much the scrap brain of, of the game. And this level is very confusing. I could never get around this place. I always had to rely on, on time traveling to get around. Don't expect me to go through too much. But, um... Metallic Madness is gonna be a very crazy, um, level. I can- I guarantee it. Okay, there's the, um, there's the robot generator to the right. How you get there is an unrelated path, but, um, once you find it, it's very, it's very easy. There we go. Actually, I think you do it for here, I think. No? Okay. Oh, there's the end of the level, right here. That was very easy, but the second level isn't going to be for sure. Yes. You made a good future in Zone 1. Now, also, a reminder, guys, I actually got all the time stones, which means, um... Uh, which means there's gonna be a, a good future guarantee, so... Okay, so, again, Metallic Madness is a big maze-like level. You're gonna get yourself lost. I, I guarantee you're never gonna figure your, your way out around this place. And once you do, it's already too late. Oh, that springboard, of course. Checkpoint. And these bomb guys that are from Sonic 1 are in this game, except they're Gigantuan. Now, also, those, like, those propeller things, um, they don't make sense. They literally don't make sense. If I come across number one, I might as well demonstrate it. But, um, Metallic Madness is very, very big. Oh god, of course, it had to be one of these guys. There we go. As you can tell here, Sonic has now turned mini. Found a little secret, never mind. Get around like that. This. Get up here. Okay. Alright. down here. Do not go right, you must go left. 
now. There we go. We go down, please. Thank you. And look at there. We have, like, the ceiling falling on us. You have to jump on each one of them. So I was sad. And there's the end of the level. And now, time for the final zone. Well, I mean, like, the final act of the final zone. Now, also, I did not mention this throughout the whole Let's Play, but, um, throughout the whole entire game, there is no bombless pit. But this level is the only level with a bombless pit. Of course, because it makes the- because they make the game too easy, they figured, let's make the last level hard. And just put a bombless pit. Yeah, that's- that's exactly what they did. Up here. I need to wait for most of these, but as long as you get at least to three, it's fine. And now you need to do timed jumps. Oh, crap. And, as you can see here, there's a bottomless pit right there. Be really careful. going the pattern okay as long as like if you made it to here you can actually hold right and you'll still make it it's a tech it's a glitch but you can still make it regardless so even if you think oh god the door's closed I'm not gonna make it you, you all you have to do is hold right and you'll just you'll, you'll still hold on to the edge and you'll make it just fine okay I much have to go around this way, though. Like that. And now we have this little mini, um... Little... Thing here. Take that. You have to take out most, all of them. There we go. And right here for boss. Alright. This is the final boss in the game. Once again, it's Dr. Eggman. You must hit him at the correct time. Once he does this, he's gonna aim towards you. He will leave up an opening. That's your chance to hit him. Oh, that's not a good spot, though. Whatever. It's fine. There we go. Right here, you can hit him there. That will give him an extra hit. That will give him two more hits left. It only takes a total of four hits to kill him this time.
And then he's gonna use his trampoline. All we have to do is hit him like that, and he's dead. And there's Amy, so... Ladies and gentlemen, here is this last ending. Well guys, that is it of Sonic the Hedgehog CD, or just Sonic CD, for the Sega CD. This game, for the Sega CD, is pretty much one of the best all-time all -time Sonic Sonic games. Well, technically, it's the only Sonic game in on the Sega CD. And, um, they did it, um, they did really good, It's very, although it's very easy. But, um, as for, um, it was made, it was made after, um, Sonic 2, and before Sonic 3, and, wow, this game was very amazing, but. I will tell you this right now, um, is it the best Sonic game? No, not, not the bestest, but, um, just you wait till next. Just wait till next, um, just wait till April, though. Speaking of April, just for, just for clarification, I'm going to the Zelda Escape Room on April, and it's gonna be, I don't know if it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna be happening the same time as at the Let's Play, but, um, I will say this right now. If you haven't bought the tickets yet, the, um, the Scrap Zelda site, along where you can actually get the tickets to where you're supposed to go, actually the direct link to it is in the description, in case you want to. But anyways, that is also it for, um, March's, um, uh, season of Sonic, the Road to Sonic Mania. There's still one more video afterwards, which is the special stages, but, um, other than that, Stay tuned for April when I do Sonic Free. I'm not gonna do Sonic and Knuckles afterwards in on April. I'm just doing only the Sonic Free portions of it, which means I'm just playing Sonic Free in its own cartridge. And when it gets to the month afterwards, I'm playing Sonic and Knuckles in its own cartridge. That's what we're gonna do um, next month. But um. This game is not perfect, by all means, but, um, if you want to give this game a shot, you can get it on the Sonic Gems Collection on the GameCube, or you can just get a Sega CD, you'll try it there too. Christian Whitehead has also re-released it on various other systems, like Xbox, free, Xbox Live, and Steam. You can get these like those too, and you're too cool. Well, thank you all for watching, see you guys next time. Mars 4-1, signing out.